Sleeping bag liners. Something that's been around for decades. Basically a way to help keep the interior of your sleeping bag clean uh, from extended periods of time uh, when you're using it while camping. So this model is one from a company called Alps Mountaineering. This one is specifically the one they call the Mummy Liner because I have the MSS sleep system that the military uses. So I was going to look to see whether it, how well it fits in. So stick with me and I will go through this and we'll get the specs and see what it looks like. Be right back. So let me go into a little bit about the uh, Alps Mountaineering sleeping bag liner, or this one's called the Mummy. The one I chose is the uh, microfiber fabric. Uh, it is in the Mummy shape. It comes with a standard stuff sack, and I'll show you that in a minute. The dimensions on this one are 32 inches uh, by 86 inches, roughly weighs 11 ounces, and they also do make a model in poly cotton. Okay, so this is the tag that it comes with. There's a, just the spec that I was reading off there. It is a product that's made in China, but pretty much everything is these days. And it does come with a, with a limited lifetime warranty. So I assume that you can just contact the company and uh, about your warranty questions. Uh, this is the st stuff sack that it comes with. Now it's hard to, it may be hard to see, oh, there we go. So you can actually see that it's kind of nice. They've got their logo um, embossed in all around the bag. And then it's stitched on the end here. Comes with, a st with the normal uh, drawstring and a tightener here. So it's, it fits in two hands. It's not a very large... I had seen some of the comments on Amazon that says that it's about the size of a beer can. I would say that it's probably about the size of a tall beer can, uh, but uh, it's it's still pretty small. Packs down, so it's less than a pound, uh, and it does have a. Um, I assume that you can just put a carabiner or or a, I'm not really sure. It doesn't specifically say what this is for, but uh, I would think that you could put a carabiner through there if you wanted to. So. Okay, so just like on the outside of the bag, you can see that it's been embossed in uh, different size lettering of their logo as well. Uh, it is the microfiber material, like uh, like you'd clean your glasses with or something like that. They do also make a poly cotton, uh, but I, I just chose this one because it, it's... Uh, a little softer I think it may be a little bit more durable maybe uh, it is possible that I'll get the other one in the in the future okay so it uh, it has a, a velcro closure up here at the top so just two pieces of velcro and then there's a tie string here and then there's one on this side as well so um, the, there is a, a back and a front to this, so th this material is longer than the front. So you're gonna you're gonna kind of go in just from one side. It is uh, there's a little bit of an expansion piece there to allow uh, for your arms to move around some. Um, And then it's, uh, but that's the, so the opening is maybe uh, a foot at the most. Um, but there's no zipper or anything. Uh, I saw there was a couple comments that asking if there was a zipper. So no, it's it's just stitched up the side here. All right, so this is what it looks uh, laid out. There's uh, that's the top, obviously. So it's a lot wider and traditional mummy bag style it's much larger at the top than the bottom they also do make a version of this that is for standard sleeping bags so it's uh, completely rectangular 
as opposed to being in this mummy bag style. And so you can see the, the drawstring here. So you're going to put your pillow here, I assume, and then you'll be able to go in from, it's going to go from right to left, and you'll be able to open that up. But as you've noticed, that's as far as you can get in. Is, uh, that's as far as that goes right there. It, it won't open up any further than that. So that's the, let me take this off the tripod here. Because um, what I wanted to show you is, is, there's a lot of stitching here. They've, they've done, um, what I guess what you'd call double stitching. Down here at the foot box. Um, it's a pretty large foot box from what I've been able to tell so far. So there's uh, where they've stitched in the foot box here. You can see there's a stitch or there's a seam there. Uh, there's a seam that comes up. I get this material to complete. That it. Uh, I don't know, about three, four, about a third of the way up, you're going to find another seam there on both sides. There's one here, too. If I had any complaint, I guess, or one question is, why so many seams? Like, I don't understand. And they typically have reasons for that. But it just seems like they've stitched together a lot of different pieces of fabric to make this bag. I mean, I would that's gonna I would think that you're gonna end up with a weaker product overall because you've got all these, and it's just on the just on the front of the bag though. There's not there's not a corresponding seam on the back side, uh, meaning from here. This material does not want to lay flat. So, yeah, this from the seam here, it just. So, you have one piece of fabric that comes all the way up the front, and then you have the seam, and then you have the whole piece of fabric that comes along the back side. But then they stitch our seam there and the seam there. And I guess maybe you have to do that to make the, the, the mummy. But it seems like you could have just made the whole back from one long piece of material and not had that seam and that seam. Seems wasteful to me. Or maybe it's how the pattern's cut that you have you end up with something like that. But let me put it back on the tripod here real quick. And All right, so here we go. Um, I would definitely make sure you don't have anything in your pockets because you don't want to have to try to get these stuff out once you get into this bag. So while I'm getting in here, uh, just in case you're curious, so I am six foot and I weigh 220 pounds so I'll admit I'm not small but I can kind of you know I can get down in here I can put my pillow here I can I can easily do the velcro uh, yeah so my feet are, are not even at the bottom I have to do that you can't see it on the camera but my feet are, I, I probably have, I don't know, another six, eight inches down there. So then I'm completely covered up. I would just put my pillow here and I can easily fit inside the bag. Um, it's kind of hot. You know, it, it's, uh, it is microfiber material. The poly cotton could be a little bit cooler maybe. Uh, I wanted it to be uh, a little bit more, uh, as far as, temperature wise to possibly use this three seasons as opposed to uh, one or two you know um, 
Yeah, because I would I would consider later spring, summer, and early fall to be kind of two seasons because uh, you don't you're not getting the full of uh, of either one of the spring or fall. So as I mess with this a little bit more and I, I'm able to look at the scene a little bit better, this is a draw strap, uh, drawstring, so you can pull this in on top of if you want to. So it, it does actually uh, tighten up some. Yeah, it's it's nice and smooth. It's real. It feels like a type of silk almost. It, it's um, it's definitely a a nice feel. But I, now, if you're a person that twists and turns a lot, I, I think that you'd have a little bit of trouble doing that because you're going to end up getting knotted up in okay. this back. Okay. So here's there's my feet, and like I was saying. Um, I wasn't all the way down to the end of the bag, but I, my feet, I can put them straight up. It's, uh, there's plenty of room in the bottom of this bag. Maybe that's why they have to do the stitching this way, but it just still seems kind of strange. I, I would worry about these, these tearing out over time. I mean, they are double stitched, but if you're a person that just writhes around while you're sleeping, I think you'd have trouble with this bag because it's it's pretty tight. It okay, well, thanks for sticking with me through all of that. Uh, it's kind of hard to do the camera work with one person, but uh, overall, I really do like it. Uh, uh, it retails for at the time of this video, I got it for just under twenty one dollars, uh, Amazon Prime. Um, couldn't tell you what color this is. I'm terrible with colors, so I'm not even going to venture to guess what color this is. And you never know, too, what color it will show up uh, on the camera. But uh, it's very lightweight. It's, it is 11 ounces. Um, the reasons I purchased it, well, one, obviously, is to help try to keep my sleeping bag clean. Uh, it's just a pain if you if you in the summer months if you're trying to sleep in that sleeping bag and you get it all sweaty inside it uh, it's hard to clean those things it's hard to wash them they're, you they're not everybody's washing machine can actually wash these things so it's nice to have something like this that you can sleep in this when you get back from your camping trip just throw this in the washing machine and uh, and you can take this out during the day if you wanted to to air it out some if you've really been hot and sweaty but it's um the stitching as i said there could be a reason why it's like this if anybody knows let me know it just seems to me like you're going to add weakness every time that you make uh, extra seams that uh, seems like they're unnecessary uh, but oh i also there another reason i got this is i had, i had actually thought about possibly putting this into my get home bag uh, to leave it in there because it's so small so lightweight and instead of having to open up the uh, SOL escape bivy uh, during the, as I said, the spring, the summer, and the f early fall, I might be able to use something like this instead, and that way I could bring it home and wash it. And if I if I did have an extended time out somewhere, so if I'm if I were hanging out in my car, I wouldn't use this as an outdoor sleeping bag, but I would like if I had to sit in my car for a little while and it was cold, you could climb into this and you could, and it's supposed to knock off 10 or 15 degrees at, at the most, uh, the little bit of reviews that I, and research that I had done on this. So it should uh, keep you warm um, and comfortable in your car. Uh, now, I wouldn't try to get out of this thing in a hurry because it, it, you have to wiggle out of it. It's, it's designed for a mummy sleeping bag. Um, as far as um, usability, I, I think that you could kind of get tangled up in this thing because there's really not any way to tie your feet, the feet to this thing, to a sleeping bag. So if you are not a person that, that wiggles around a whole lot, I think you'd be a lot more comfortable if you're going to per be a person that wiggles around a whole lot and you can't sleep in mummy bags anyway, is get the rectangular one. Uh, and then that way you have plenty of room to move around and, uh, and still accomplish the same thing. So, 
Uh, this was a little bit of a long video, but I felt like I just wanted to thoroughly review the, the bag. Uh, I would definitely recommend that if you are looking for something to help keep your sleeping bag clean, there are a lot more expensive models than this one on the market. Um, but I just don't know that they would do any better a job. The only thing I could possibly think of is a little bit more breathability. While I was in the bag, it was a little hot in there, but it's also, I'm inside my house, so it's not cold. It's just, it was a, I just literally took it out of the box from Amazon a few minutes ago and wanted to go ahead and get a video up of it, so I'm rambling. Um, but hopefully you enjoyed this video and hopefully it did give you some insight into one of these if you have been looking for one because I, I, I definitely use YouTube videos for my own purchases as well. So um, please give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Please remember to hit that subscribe button because it definitely it, it will let me know that you're interested and, and basically will keep you up to date when new videos come out.